The Department of Children and Families has recently hired 300 new workers, and these new hires are gaining hands-on experience in critical real-life situations that could potentially save a life. I was going to be a police officer, but once I finished up school, I realized that my passion is actually like helping children. DCF trainee Dwayne Ellis used to work as a head lifeguard. While lifeguarding, he saw a lot of inner-city kids coming to the pool without adult supervision. No lunch. They didn't. They weren't able to eat. Coming to the pool is the only resource they had. With two younger brothers, 8 and 12, Ellis felt his biggest help would be in social work. With the help of role-playing exercises, he is learning to keep kids safe and also practice communicating with families. But the work hasn't been easy. But keeping your own personal bias and your personal feelings away from other people's personal situations is the hardest part of the job, in my personal opinion. The role-playing exercises are designed to push the new social workers. In one scenario, Ellis is in a home where domestic violence took place. He forms a relationship with a family member while also trying to determine if there is a safety risk in the home. When you take a step back and you put yourself in someone else's shoes, you get to see that maybe, maybe I shouldn't feel this way. Maybe I need to understand that. I don't know their circumstance leading up to what happened to them. In Connecticut alone, there have been 47 unsafe sleeping deaths in the past eight years. April is Child Abuse Awareness Month, and DCF is using it as an opportunity to highlight child safety, which could ultimately save a life. Reporting in Rocky Hill, Corey Paulno, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.